Hi, welcome back. Thank you once again for coming to my channel. This is Annie Lawrence. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to have that highlighted cursor that will help you, most especially when you do your online presentation through different video conferencing platforms or when you do your online teaching, or let's say when you do your screen recording for your online lessons. Now, uh, before I carry on with the tutorial, just to let you know that I'm, I'm actually recording the whole tutorial using my Zoom record function. Now, before we move on further, what you need to do is actually to go to your Windows settings. So I've already opened that here. Once you're there, you have to go to your additional mouse options. Once you click that, a pop-up will come out with your mouse properties. Now there are different pivots and also tabs there, but what you need to go is the pointers. Now this is where you can choose your different mouse functionalities. Okay, you can even choose what type you need to um, put up or what kind of mouse you want to do there. Now let's go on to the highlighting cursor. So what you need to do is go to this website called Real World Designer. Once you click that, it will bring you to this, um, well, it looks like this 90s type of a website, but I do find that they have a lot of things that will help with your, um, you know, graphic softwares or even any types of web application resources. So they do have that. But primarily, I'm coming here for the cursor highlight. So once you're there, there are actually different types of cursors that you can choose and you can download. They even have this dream team cursors and all that, even pencils and so forth. You can um, just try to explore further later on if you want to visit this website. I'm going to include the website in the description below just so that you have your resource when you want to visit this site. So what you need to do is look for the cursor highlighter. And once you're there, you it will come up to this. So you can choose what type of cursor highlight you would like. But for me, I'm gonna go for this highlight cursor, that's dot C-U-R. So once you're there, you click that up and you are going to download. Now this is just a, C, a dot C-U-R file. So it means it's just like your PNG dot PNG or dot uh, GIF files. So it doesn't take much of space in your computer. Once you're there, you just have to download that. So I've got it here. Now what I'm gonna do is that, okay, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have this in my download file, okay? What you're gonna do next is that you're going to your download file. And once it is there, you're going to highlight cursor, okay? What well, you can actually either control exit or you can just right click and you can just cut or copy. So what I did is that I actually cut it. And then I'm going to my windows. I'm going to look for my windows file. Once I'm there, I'm going to my mouse. So once you're there, you go to your cursors. Click that up and you will see the different cursors that you have that's already been saved in your um, computer. One, once you're there, I'm just going to control V or paste it back. And then this is just a prompt for you to um, allow it. So I'm just going to click continue. And once it's there, so it means it's already included in your selection. So what you need to do is that you're going to go back to your mouse settings, mouse properties. And then you are going to browse and you will find that highlighted cursor somewhere here. There it is. And then you just click open and then you just apply it. And then there you go. You see the difference in my cursor now and click okay. Okay, so once I'm that, I, 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 once I already have, highlighted my cursor. Now I'm going to show you a sample on how you can actually do this. Um, I'm going to go to Oxford Owl. Yeah, I'm also going to include this. Um, if you're interested to know about their 
free ebooks. I'm also going to include the website down in the description below so you can use that. So this is just for demonstration purposes so that I can use, um, show you how I would use it um, when I do my reading with my lessons with my students. So I would go to their ebooks and then I would maybe choose a book. They have actually the Beef, Chip and Kipper series and I'm going to choose that. Um, just an additional note, Oxford I'll also have like um, an audio read aloud. So you can either ask your students to read it or you can actually model read it or even play the audio and then it will play it for you. Maybe that one you can explore yourself later on. So there you go. It actually it's highlighted. So for example, the haircut. And then if you want your students to emphasize on that particular picture, you can just use that. So if you can see, it's actually highlighted. So I hope that you find this tutorial ver very helpful. If it is, please click the like button and once again, do subscribe to this channel.